Rodriguez. So a little bit of contact. Falls for Rossi in the end. To the far side for Carlos Vela. Vela got it away. And it's a goal. Carlos Vela. 31 of the year. Tying the MLS single season record. There's a little bit of a different look for LAFC lately. Carlos Vela has been an MVP candidate. Not an MVP candidate. He's been the freaking MVP playing as a right winger throughout most of the year. And this is his basic thing right here. He gets out in space. But part of it is this is Adama Diamande. He's their center forward when he's available. And because he was checking back, he was allowing Vela to play higher. When Vela plays higher, it's just one touch to him into space. And then Diamande makes a good diagonal run. It opens up for a goal for Eduard Atuesta. Of course, nobody's allowing LAFC to play in space anymore. They're compact. They're sitting back. They're being compact and they're saying, okay, you're going to have to break us all down. Now, this is a month ago with Diamande still in the game. You could see him right here. He's going to stay central. That's what a center striker does. And because of that, he is going to keep the, the Galaxy defenders around him. That allows Vela to slide outside and have a clear path in on goal. He walks it in for the equalizer. He got hurt a couple minutes after that. Well, this is this past week against Toronto FC, or a couple weeks ago, excuse me, against Toronto FC. And again, Vela is now a false nine. He has been starting in the middle of the box, but still flaring out. Look how many... <laughs> Look how many uh, how many Toronto FC defenders are actually going out to the right hand side. I see what side. you're doing there, Dorian. Yeah. I see what you're doing there. It's a big circle. Um, you can see all of them going out to Vela. Now he's so good, he'll dribble most of them and still get a good shot on goal. But that's a lot. It's a lot harder than just having one guy to skin. Now today's game, Vela uh, again. Playing as a center forward, he's not sure whether to check into space or whether to run off the back shoulder. It's been a little confusing for him. It's part of the reason why LAFC have not been great the past month. In the second half of today's game, though, Bob Bradley finally bit the bullet. He had Diego Rossi come inside and play as an off-the-shoulder center forward and put Carlos Vela back on the right-hand side as a winger. That's what opened up space. If you watch that goal again, that's Carlos Vela on the right wing with the ball on his left foot doing what Carlos Vela has done 31 times now this season, guys. I'm going to make some more circles. I'm going to practice over here a little <laughs> bit because we got been, another segment coming I'm telling you, I get anxiety every time one of you goes, well, I'm, I'm goes over to being that on board. This side, I, yes. I, I don't know I how you sum, do it. You're right in everything you said. I would sum it up this way. When you look at the teams they've played against and the games they've dropped points recently, Galaxy, Minnesota, Orlando, Toronto, Houston, these are all teams who put eight, nine, ten players, not just back. I mean, we're talking within 30 yards of their own goal. Bob Bradley has taken Carlos Vela, his best player, the best attacker in Major League Soccer, if not this season, in in league history and put him into that crowded space and I understand it but if you just think about numbers if you think about basic logistics forget everything else he has taken his best attacker put in the most crowded part of the field and that's always going to make it more difficult yeah and, it, and just to keep it really basic if you break a piece of your car you don't take the most important part the engine and put it in the place of something that was broken you, you let the engine run in the place where it's working and playing on the right hand side is the place where Carlos Vela has put together this historic season on the right side being able to tuck in I don't put anybody I, I play hardly anybody could play at that center striker spot and then allow him to continue to find that ball on the wing the way we saw him be able to cut to that left hand side cut in on his left find that far post that, that's what I he's been so that. successful if, at if all you, season the reason they've been so good has been that they have been an incredible machine I didn't know you were a car guy I, by the way that was a little bit surprising but they've been a machine you could talk about the talent <laughs> they have been the best running machine the best set of systems we have ever seen in major league soccer you don't need a star there keep the machine mm. running put a player there just like SKC did last year, just like teams have done before, that keeps the machine running, even if it's not a Dabba Diamande, keep Vela wide and keep everyone else playing at their best. Walker Zimmerman time. <laughs> there it is. There Late it the is. Game. God, and Kalen Carr dropping car analogies. My <laughs> mind is blown right now. Um, well, another storyline that we should be keeping our, our tabs on for LAFC is the goalkeeping situation because we've got Pablo Cisniegas in goal and they've been sort of rotating him and Tyler Miller towards the end of this season. So is Pablo the right guy for them? This is his spot now to, to me after his performance right now and this is what the last couple weeks of the season can do is if you get into the team at the right time, and yes, I know it wasn't a huge landslide victory for this team, and, and, and but it, it really was 
probably could have gone the other direction easily if it wasn't for Cisniegas. And there, if you're paying attention to the press conferences and you watch Bob Bradley afterwards, he's had a number of opportunities to come out and say Tyler Miller is their number one goalkeeper. And he hasn't. He said we're, we're looking for, we have two good goalkeepers, we're trying to play whoever's the right guy on the day. But when you play this well on a day like today, then you're going to start the next week. It would be hard to drop him now. And then if he plays well there, yes, if, if he has a bad performance on decision day, then no, maybe he goes out. But he's, it's his job no, to lose yeah, right Kaylee, now. Kaylee, nothing you said there is wrong, but I'll say it doesn't matter who you have. Just pick somebody and go with it. As a goalkeeper, you want to feel confident. You want to feel like your yeah. manager believes in you. So I don't mind if it's Cisniega or Miller. Just pick one and stick well, with it When you have a, like a 15-point lead, you can start to play with some of the finer margins. And I, I've seen LAFC doing this, whether it's the left-back position, who they're going to play, trying to groom. El Munir or, or Harvey, who's sharp. it going to be? And then, yeah, at the right time of the year, this is why you build this deep roster. Mm -hmm. I, I think this is a Sniega spot right yeah, now. Yeah, you said it while we were watching the game. Bob Bradley just fine-tuning his team right now and the goalkeeper position, no exception. Um, but, guys, we're still, like I said, we're still in that golden boot race. Can Zlatan catch Carlos Vela with one game remaining? Oh, he can. Do you, I mean, a hat trick I mean, is, is sort of casual for Zlatan these days. Uh, you would have thought in a seven-goal match today he'd have more than one of them. He looked pretty devastated not to get the ball more, but I, I think Vela will hold on to this one. They play against Colorado at home. You'd expect them to win. You'd expect him to play, to continue to play well. And uh, I, I think Vela will continue to, to hold on to that spot. I mean, the Galaxy have the Dynamo last. Kevin, I, I know you don't like to hear this, but there's goals there to be had <laughs> against the Dynamo. None of us would be surprised if Zlatan goes out and bangs three on minor figure. Right where it hurts.